Bravo one for the first time in the special session called on crime. Major bills are now being sent to the governor's desk and one Jeff Landry is expected to sign off on is permitless concealed carry legislation. WDSU reporter Elizabeth Kubel in Baton Rouge following the debate and the big developments from the state house. The first bill of the special session to head to the governor is one that could allow you to carry a concealed weapon without a permit or training. 75 yeas and 28 nays, and the bill finally passes. With a majority yes vote followed by a round of applause, the House grants Senate Bill 1 final passage, making it the first to clear both the House and Senate since lawmakers came to Baton Rouge a week and a half ago. It gives criminals a reason to fear that any potential victim could also be armed and disincentivizes criminal conduct. Because as has been said so many times, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. The bill allows for law abiding citizens 18 and older to carry concealed handguns without a permit. It was the subject of hours of floor debate Wednesday with some questioning specifically tailored to New Orleans. Could result in a large loss of life if someone pulls out a gun and starts shooting in defense on Bourbon Street. Couldn't that result in a large loss of life? Would hate to have gunplay occur in a large crowd, but you respond to a threat where the threat attacks you. Sponsors say the proposal gives people more protection against violent criminals with self-defense, but it has gotten pushback, including from top local leaders and some lawmakers today voice concerns about lack of training. You have a right to carry a gun now, but you, it's important that you have the training and the background check. We need to make common sense decisions, but I don't like this bill. More guns will not make us safe. If this bill is signed into law, which again is expected, it is set to take effect in July. Reporting in Baton Rouge at the Capitol, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WDSU News.